Well, welcome back, y'all. Christmas on the coast. We are in the kitchen with a local TikTok cooking star. Hey, y'all. Look, he is so famous. I know, right? <laughs> right? Um, this is Matthew Bounds. If you do not know, your barefoot neighbor from over in Gulfport. He's joining us, whipping up a yummy holiday breakfast slash dessert. Yeah, it looks like kind of a concoction here you got going, huh? It's a well-balanced breakfast. <laughs> well-balanced, okay. yes. Fruit, We've apples, got donuts. Okay, We're ready to go. breakfast okay. items. That's right, and you got me. I saw this on your TikTok because I saw the Krispy <laughs> Kreme donuts going in for a cobbler. Mm -hmm. So this is like a breakfast cobbler made out of Krispy Kreme donuts. So take mm -hmm. it away. All right. So we've got a dozen Krispy Kreme. You can use any kind you want, but I always use Krispy Kreme. I've already torn them up in little bite-sized pieces, so we're going to set those to the side. All right, now we got two cups of eggnog, any kind you want. If you make it homemade, good for you. Kudos. Okay, <laughs> now does that have alcohol in it? This one does not. Okay. But if you wanted to do it, okay. by all means. Interesting. Be okay. my guest. Okay. I didn't think he would, he would, you know, <laughs> put that one down. I figured uh, 615 was not the time to be putting whiskey yeah. in our Okay. Eggnog. Okay, so this is about a quarter cup of light brown sugar. All right. You can do a heaping quarter cup if you want. Okay. We've really got the adding the sweetness here. Oh, we are adding the <laughs> <sweetness>. <laughs> <laughs> To go to the Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> right. I like apple pie spice in mine. Um, you okay. can do nutmeg. You can do pumpkin pie spice. You can do whatever. And I add a little bit more cinnamon because, you know, it's, yeah. the, it's the holidays. Yeah, it's, it's the season. All right. And we're going to whisk that together. Okay. And that looks like you're making scrambled eggs. It kind of does, doesn't it? All right, this is looking good already. I don't know. I don't have any cinnamon in my eggs, Jamie. Oh, well, I don't know. It looks like it. It might not <laughs> taste it. like it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pour this over the donuts. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, That's my goodness. the eggnog. Okay. All right. And now, uh, hand me that spoon right there. We're going to mix, mix this up. Just make sure they're all coated. Okay. Now, typically, I let this sit for... 15 to 30 minutes because you want these donuts to really soak all this eggnog okay. up. Wow, Krispy Kreme donuts with eggnog. But you know, and it's not done yet. It's There's not. No, no, it's not done yet. Okay, <laughs> so you need two cans of, I use apple pie filling. These are 21 ounce cans. Love if you want to do peach, blackberry, whatever you want to do. It's all right, so pretty much any like canned fruit. Any canned fruit. It's a cobbler, a very you traditional can cobbler. It to your preferred. A very tradition <laughs> <laughs> traditional cobbler. Oh, goodness. Um, you know, again, if you want to cook your own apples on the stovetop, be my guest, but we're not doing all that. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Okay, so we're just going to spread these out in the bottom in a little thin layer. And look, I, we're using the aluminum pans because it's the holidays and mm. you got people over and I know everybody. Yeah, and who has time for all that? Exactly. Okay, we're just gonna pretend these have soaked for you know, <laughs> okay. 15 to 30 minutes. Oh, we're just gonna layer these over the top. Layer it in. Goodness gracious. And then I'm guessing you put it in the oven. Oven on 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. Mine usually takes right at 50 minutes. You just want it to get really nice and golden brown on top. Okay, kind of like that one over there. So, you know, Matthew. TV magic. He, he, totally TV magic. He is oh, obviously yeah. a professional at what <laughs> he does, and he went ahead and brought one that's already ready. So, we're dying to try this um, breakfast cobbler. I How do we, we call it that? A breakfast cobbler. Sure. <laughs> breakfast. Okay. Sure. Breakfast cobbler. <laughs> okay. I if, like it. If you eat apple pie for breakfast, then yeah, <laughs> breakfast cobbler. I like that. Oh, this is wonderful. I can't wait to try this. So if you're not aware, if you're not already following Matthew, look, he is your barefoot neighbor. You can find him on all the social media. You can find him on Facebook. You can find him, of course, on TikTok, Instagram, all that jazz. He's also got a cookbook for any last minute ideas if you're looking for a gift. You said you sold 50 5,000? We've sold 55,000 since May of this year. Sheesh! On his cookbook right here. Let me see what it says. It <laughs> and if says, you uh, cannot cook or you do not like to cook, this is the book for you because what we just did right here is like the whole book. Throw it together. <laughs> Come yeah, fix right. your plate, right? In all right, here we are. Put it in the crock pot and go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try it. I haven't tried it. You gotta try it because you have oh to do your gosh. dance. Oh, you have yeah, to oh Okay. You have to dance us on the way out. And if you watch me on social media, you know that we're trash and we just eat straight out of the pan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here it is. You? There it is. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> This is delicious. Love it. Well, thanks for coming on this morning. <laughs> I'm going to eat all my whole plate, uh, but I'll let y'all take a look at the commercial so you don't have to watch me stuff my face. <laughs> <laughs> this is so delicious. Put some ice cream on top. Oh, because we need more sugar. Because we do need more sugar. There's never enough. <laughs>